Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. Today I am in Israel, in Jerusalem, at Machon Shachter, at the flagship institution of the conservative movement and rabbinical school and place of study here in Jerusalem. And I am sitting with Rabbi David Glinken, who has blessed us with his presence at Beth Israel in Vancouver a couple of times over the last few years. Rabbi Glinken is the president of the Schachter Institutes and is going to share with us a little bit of Torah today and tell us a little bit about what the Schachter Institute does here in Jerusalem and around Israel and the world. Thank you, Rabbi Infeld. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, we are between the parashiot of Lech Lecha and Vayera, and therefore I would like to give a Dvar Torah which connects the two weekly portions. Uh, the rabbis of the Talmud and Midrash noticed that the words Lech Lecha, get you up and go, appear in only two places in the entire Torah. First of all, in Lech Lecha, which we read last week, Lech Lecha me'artzecha, umimoladetecha, umibet avicha, ela aretz asher ha'eka, get you up and go from your land, from the place you were born, from the land of your forefathers to the land that I will show you. And in this week's weekly portion, in the story of the Akedah, of the binding of Isaac, it also says, Lech Lecha el Eretz God says to Abraham, get you up and go to the land of Moriah. And Rabbi Levi says in the Midrash, in Breshid Rabbah, Shnei pamim k'tiv lech lecha lech lecha ve'ein anu yodim ezo chaviva o rishona o shniya. It says lech lecha twice in the Torah, and we don't know which is more precious. Now the first lech lecha is obvious. It's talking about the lech lecha Zionism going up to Israel. The second lech lecha to the Mount Moriah, according to the rabbis of the Midrash, means to go to the place of hora'ah, of teaching, or to the place of yir'ah, fear of God which we could say in modern English is the Lech Lecha of Judaism. So you have here the Lech Lecha of Zionism, the Lech Lecha of Judaism. Which of them is more precious? The rabbis of the Talmud have their discussion. They give their opinions. I would like to tell you my opinion on the subject vis-a-vis -vis Judaism in Eretz Israel, in the land of Israel today. I think that one of the great problems, or one of the biggest problems of the state of Israel for the past four, 68 years is that we haven't really figured out a way to bridge the gap between Zionism and Judaism. You have those Israelis who only believe in Zionism, and they are not interested in studying anything in the Jewish sources or in observing any of the important practices of Judaism, and that's about 20% of the population. And you have the Lech Lecha of Judaism, the Haredim, the ultra-Orthodox, who only believe in observing Judaism and don't want to have anything to do with Zionism. And these stories play themselves out in Israeli society all the time. On the one hand, the Haredim, who perhaps throw stones at buses on Shabbat, or who prevent uh, non-Orthodox rabbis from performing marriages and divorces in the state of Israel, and you know all of those stories. And the Lech Lecha of Zionism, those who do not teach their children anything about Judaism, which is really a standard feature of the secular public school system in the state of Israel. The purpose of the Schechter Institutes, where we are hosting this week Rabbi Infeld and the group of Law and Learn from Vancouver, our purpose is to bridge that gap between the Lech Lecha of last week's Parsha and the Lech Lecha of this week's Parsha. We believe that we must teach all Israelis, men, women, children, old people, young people, the beauty of Judaism and Zionism, and how they work together to form a united whole in the land of Israel. And the four main things that we do in Israel are as follows. Number one, we run a rabbinical school for the conservative movement in Israel, which is called the Schechter Rabbinical Seminary. This year we have about 70 students in our rabbinical school. The ordination program, a preparatory MA program, a Torah Lishma program, as well as the JTS and Seminario Rabbinico students who spend a year in Israel. Our master's program for Israeli teachers, which has about 600 students, who are mostly teachers who come in from all over the state of Israel, from Eilat in the south all the way to the Lebanese border. And they come and they study here one day a week for two to five years, and they get their master's degree in Jewish studies, 
and share that knowledge with their children that they teach throughout the state of Israel. The Tali school system, which a few months ago had a wonderful 40th anniversary celebration. This year we have 48,000 children in the Tali schools and preschools, 110 schools, 215 preschools, the length and breadth of the land of Israel, bringing a serious Jewish studies program to the secular public school system, and finally, our branch in Tel Aviv, which is called Neve Shechter, which is an outreach center where last year 15,000 people participated in Jewish events throughout the year. So I think that through the activities of the Shechter Institute, which are now reaching 65,000 Israelis every year, I think we are bridging the gap between last week's Parsha and this week's Parsha, between the Lech Lecha of Zionism and the Lech Lecha of Judaism, and we hope that in years to come, there will not be 65,000 people in our programs, but hundreds of thousands of people in our programs reuniting these two crucial aspects of Judaism. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Rabbi Glenkin. That was fantastic. Shabbat Shalom. And I look forward to telling you all about our trip and our seminar with our lawyers and those who joined us here in Jerusalem shortly after I return and our participants return. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.